everyone, Lisa here aka Crafting Diva. Thank you for joining me once again today and welcome to video number two using the brand new stamp sets I've just been sent from craftstash.co.uk. If you've not seen my first video it might be nice for you to see if you can check that one out first because in my first video I used the brand new pretty quick Christmas candle stamp set and for today's video I'm going to be using the Christmas Noel stamp set. Um, a little bit about these stamps just in case you've not seen them like I say they're from the pretty quick range and going to be available for sale right now on www.craftstash.co.uk these are an excellent um, new collection of Christmas stamps they're going to be releasing and um, there's seven stamps in this set and no, Christmas Noel stamps and the concept of these brand new stamp sets is that you can buy this one stamp set and it contains all the elements you'd need to complete one card or one off the page project by just having this one product in your stash um, this set itself contains seven stamps like I said they're photopolymer stamps are really top quality and great value for money and the extra special thing about these stamps is that they've been made so that the rubber is very slightly thicker so that when you stamp your statement piece stained glass design you get a really nice thick line to your stamped image so that it really gives that deep impression um, the stamps you get in the set is this stunning little bow detail with mini bow a holly leaf a happy Christmas message that's been made especially to follow the Noel um, stained glass top apart and then to complete the set you get two stunning um, sentiment stamps that are ideal for doing your inserts in your card or to use as the front statement piece on your design so for today's video I'm going to be using the Christmas Noel stamp so let's get started to start with I thought I'd show you how we can make this little decoupage uh, card square card that features the happy Christmas all the way around the main topper feature and then inside you've got the little sentiment with love at Christmas so to make this card what we need to do first of all is stamp our Noel topper part twice as I've done here in memento ink and what I've done is I've gone on and I've cut the bells out and uh, got 3d foam on on the back and you want to stick the um, bells on top of your first image and then I went on from there and also, also cut um, the Noel out and 3 d them up and then once you've got it all freed up, 3 d would up you want to add some colour to the image so it looks like this once you've coloured it absolutely stunning and then to make the happy birthday go all the way round what I found the best thing to do is get a white square die cut this is 11 and a half by 11 and a half and I found this is the perfect size for you to be able to get your topper into the middle and have room for you to stamp your message around the outside we want to bring our little noel topper in and very lightly using a pencil draw around the topper so we've got a guide as to where we need to do our stamping once you've got that we want to take our happy christmas stamp from the stamp set and stick that onto an acrylic block like so get some memento ink and ink our stamp up like this and then we want to follow our little lines we've just done and stamp happy christmas all the way around our square like so once we've gone all the way round I've just gone on and I stamped the little bow into the corner in green ink and like I say for the insert I've just stamped the little bow element all the way round in green ink and stamped the message with love at Christmas. So I think you agree that's really quite a nice little card you could send to your friends and family and given the extra depth of the 3D really makes the design stand out. Another design we could make is to take the actual topper design do exactly like we did on our first card 
but this time turn it into a easel so that you've got a stunning stamped background to the bottom part of your easel and the sentiment for your stopper uh, to make this like before we want to make the top exactly how we did before but this time I've just kept the topper flat and for the bottom element we just want to stamp the holly leaf randomly all over so to do that I've got again 11 and a half by 11 and a half square die cut and we want to get ourselves the holly leaf this time from the stamp set and this time we want to ink our stamp up and with a piece of scrap card behind us we just want to start stamping our holly leaf randomly all over our piece of white cardstock. Once you've covered the whole piece of cardstock, you just go on from there and you colour it with some Copic pens like I have here. And then for the stopper element, I just the, use the absolutely stunning sentiment, wishing you all the joys of the season and all the best for com the coming year. I think that's absolutely stunning sentiment from this stamp set and I think it just finishes the design off perfectly. So from this one stamp set, we've managed to make two very different different cards but they both equally look absolutely stunning on your Christmas mantelpiece so the products I use to make these cards like I say are available right now on craftstash.co.uk they're from the pretty quick range and they were the Christmas Noel stamp set in my previous video I used the Christmas uh, candle stamp set and I really hope you enjoyed watching these two videos like I say these are such a versatile set of stamps that you can make lots of different card ideas with them and I think they're going to be a really versatile piece of kit to have in your craft stash for doing your Christmas designs this year. Really hope you enjoyed this video, uh, thanks so much for stopping by and please feel free to leave any of your comments as I'd love to read them and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now!